Hello, welcome back to Homeward Adventure. We are looking for Rope in the Mirror Mansion. Alright, so... Start of this. We have what might be an orb puzzle. Okay. So is this just a remove all of the plates in a certain amount of time kind of puzzle? Like that. Okay, that was, uh, that was a thing. I was expecting it to be a lot harder than that. I wonder if there's a challenge to do this without shattering any mirrors. I'm not going to worry about it. Alright, so mirror and bomb puzzles. If that's the theme of this level, that's uh, quite a departure from anything we've done up until this point, and that's kind of interesting. Alright, well, my orientation doesn't matter, because I get to be disarmed. Which means that... Uh, well, I could push the mirror forward. Is there any reason... Let's see, all the bombs are going to blow up. Oh, I get my sword back. So this is, uh, the puzzle here is to keep the mirrors safe. I wait because I'm sped. Well, I just saved both the mirrors. Can't do that, of course. Oh, what am I doing? I need to. I need to do something with this one first. Uh, whoa. Hmm. So with two mirrors, I'm thinking I could put them both here, but then you're still gonna get to me. This stuff here, you are here. Okay, maybe. I haven't quite thought this through. Maybe if I do this, I can get you caught on this for a turn. Okay. Ah, uh, did I even need this? I guess I did because otherwise. Yeah, what would have happened? You would have been... you would have been here... Okay, yeah, no, I did need that. Kind of weird, but okay. Works. Yep, definitely the bombs and mirrors level. So here, see, we have to press a bunch of plates in order to access the bomb. Seems pretty straightforward. Um, why do we want the bomb, though? Bomb kills all of these. 
if at any point an eye wakes up, well, wakes up and moves, but that's kind of the same thing, then room fails. Additionally, looking at these, uh, the eyes are set up so that they're looking at the plates. Palms are set up so that I can't just step on the plates. Okay, what happens? I kind of need to know something. What happens if I do this? Uh, that's not a good target because it can't see. All of the diagonals, none of the diagonals work for this. Okay, because I was going to check. Also, it kills me because it's too close. Okay, let's just... Okay. Yep, that was the information I, need, I needed to know. So it blows itself up before the eye sees it. Okay. Cool. Uh, this is telling me I need to move this mirror before I do the same sort of thing here. Which is a bit of a pain, because then I... well... Let's say I have to go all the way around, but I could I could just do it this way. Now, another issue here is that these bombs are going to be blowing up. Yeah, I did blow up. Okay, let's let's uh, let's consider this uh, another way. Okay, you can be blown up without actually blowing up any... It's just an ordering problem. Do that safely. If I grab this one, I can blow these up safely afterwards. Um, and it looks like I need the mirrors. I need the mirrors to be for well not necessarily because I can also break it I can break this in another way by doing something like this right yeah, still got the mirror okay that's fine That makes things easier. So I can I, I can break the corners actually, which is good to know. Uh, this one is a little bit different. Can I get out? I don't think I can extract a mirror from this. I still think uh, now that I've seen that trick though, I do think that putting a oh whoops that that uh, blew up potion. Okay, well let's do it with this one then. I do think that blowing up um, and then putting a mirror there is the better option. So I have to... That's not... Well... I have to do this one. that. I don't get a choice. I need a mirror to block that. Okay, we will salvage this mirror. Well, actually, since we're kind of in the area, let's just do this, because we know where this mirror has to go now, based on what I've done. And... Yeah, there's no way I'm extracting that. Okay, that's fine, except for the fact that I've gotten myself stuck. Okay. A little bit annoying. That's fine. Let's 
save this mirror. Because it's going to blow up when we do that. That's already done, so I just have two more to go, and I have... This mirror I don't need for anything. So let's just... Let's just do that. And blow up this last bit here. There we go. Should solve it. Way to turn for the fuse. Interesting room concept. Felt like it was pretty lenient, um, which actually is a, kind of a general theme about this hold. And um, oh, a general theme in general. Let's uh, let's just be redundant with our adjectives there. Uh, I feel like that in this hold, just generally, the, uh, the rooms are not too demanding. You can usually just kind of fake your way through it, and you have more resources than you need to strictly solve it. Which is uh, interesting. It's a change of pace from a lot of the stuff I'm used to doing. I think a lot of the time uh, architects consider uh, sort of conflate difficulty with um, quality, and so they try to make things as hard as possible, and that isn't necessarily the best way to go about designing rooms. It can be fun. Uh, anyway, I'm just clicking on things but not actually paying attention, so let's see. What's going on here? Uh, we have two bombs, two enemies. Looks like I get to be swordless. Mm. Yes, okay. So this mechanism ensures that I can't just come in one way and out the other. So yes, I have to be swordless inside. It means I can't actually uh, crack any of these walls. Okay, I click, click. Uh, well, I, just, I did click on it. Uh, I, I hold this down. Oh, I can't get my sword back. Interesting. I need to, though. If I just blow up both of the enemies, I don't need my sword back, right? Well, the only way to get the roach out is to get my sword back. Okay. This opens everything, so all I'm really doing here, then, is I have to... Hmm... I release the goblin. Do I need to? Hold on. Oh, right. Yeah. Just dodging things out of habit. If I just put the mirror here, do I not have enough time? Okay, I, um, yeah, I definitely broke something here. Uh, oh, let's not do that. Sorry, Jeff. Uh, I, I broke that one. I am 100% certain that was not the intended solution. Unless the entire room is just a red herring to try to make you overthink things. Like there is okay, so there is a possibility that this entire room was just designed to make you over overcomplicate it. But that really felt like what I was not not the way I was supposed to do it. Uh, this looks familiar. Why does this look familiar? I think Jeff had a couple of rooms in entry point that looked somewhat similar to this. I think that's what this is. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting some entry point um, flashbacks here from some testing I was doing on that recently. 
Okay, so what's going on here? You know, that, that was a Jeff level in uh, Entry Point, so yeah, it would make sense. Uh, I can lock this off, uh, which seems good, because then enemies don't get stuck in here. Is there any reason why I don't want to just do that immediately? It's a multi-use plate. Okay. So it doesn't seem like there's any reason not to do it immediately, it just doesn't help me from the start. So I come in here, I can release an alt flick. Then I have an alt flick. So the trick here is going to be pushing mirrors into the red zone and using the door to disrupt the omplic gaze, isn't it? So I need to use the omplic as a temporary obstacle, and that would be the reason why I wouldn't want this closed. Okay. So setting up the mirrors and the omplic to be a temporary obstacle because I need this roach to hit this pressure plate for me without going up here. So interesting that this actually gives me the option of closing this. Um, I guess it makes it easier to extract the optic later. But, I mean, I'm going to be in the same space as it anyway. Okay, so now the fact that this closes confuses me, because I don't think there's actually any reason to close it. Alright, you go here. One, two, three. No good. And... Yeah, this uh, boulder here is a little bit out of the way, so that doesn't actually help me. Hmm. Okay, uh, I think what actually, what's actually going on here, I think I just solved it. Me in my head. That's pretty clever. We don't have enough obstacles to get the roach to the plate, so what we need to do is we need to have the roach come here and disrupt the omplic beam, so the omplic unstuns itself. And I guess that's fine because uh, with uh, flexible beam lining, the omplic will make the right move there instead of going um, a vertical preference. Yep, I think that's what we're looking at here. And honestly, I don't even need to use that upper space. Okay. Is this where I want you, this diagonal? Yes. Hmm. A little bit awkward to... Oh. Okay, a little bit awkward, but not really. That should do it. Disrupt. There we go. That was a nice little room. I really like this one. This is just like a, a neat little setup. It's not terribly complicated. It doesn't take any time at all to actually execute once you see it. But the uh, thing that you have to do is not obvious and feels so good when you find it. This was, honestly, I think my favorite room in the hold so far. This was a really good little room. Nicely done. And again, about difficulty not having to be absolute in order for the, the puzzle to be good. Oh, this is a short level. I mean, it's only so much you can do with mirrors and fuses, right? There's a lot you can do with it, but I, I can understand if you didn't want to design a, a huge level off of it. And narratively, maybe it makes sense for this to be a small place. Oh. You spot that. And the secret. Okay, so there is another room. At least at least one more. Uh, that kind of makes me curious, because I was not thinking to look for that at all. Maybe my finely tuned Smite Master senses just know when I need to look for them and when I don't. Yeah, let's go with that. Alright, so what's the deal here? We have a pressure plate with a ton of mirrors on it, but it is only one single pressure blade. We can release this to open that, and does this ever close? So 
I just want to clear the pressure plate, right? There's there's no reason to do anything other than clear the pressure plate. Uh, I'm going to be disarmed. I have a timer. I need to step on that or push a mirror onto it. All right, so all this is is a race. Okay. I need to... Get all of these cleared. I was too slow. Well, I was starting to see. Um, let's just let's just start the whole process over. I'm starting to get a feel for how that's going to work. So the the problem is is that I keep wanting to push stuff into the center, and I have to take extra moves to push away from the center. Here, for example, I can do that. It's good. But now I've covered both of those, which makes the center stuff take longer to clear. So let's do it once, that's fine. Well, this seems really bad, what I've just done. And yet, somehow, somehow that just worked. Okay. If it works, it works. Ah. The classic variation. So this time we're doing it with a spear. Really, there's no reason not to take the spear, even if the trapdoor wasn't there, um, to enforce this. Um, the spear would just strictly be advantageous for what we're doing here. Uh, is this the same time? Because I didn't... Oh, is the spear a disadvantage, maybe? Because I just kind of do the same thing I did before, but now because I'm not disarmed... I... Oh, I have, I have different moves I can do now. Because now I can do stuff like that. Whoops, why did that... Oh, because that's not a push, that's that's why, because I need to do it that way. Okay, I was too slow. I think that I had the right idea, though, using... Um, a bunch of... Lot more moves I can do, which actually makes this harder in a way because there's a lot more I can consider. Um, what's my start? Good. Now that I'm familiar with what I can do with this thing,
Too slow. Well, oh, that's not Dude. I thought I was being clever because I was gonna push this up, but I didn't have I didn't have the ability to get off. Okay, well if I do exactly what I just did, only don't push that there then. I can save myself a turn, right? turns too slow. This isn't quite going to work. Turn too slow that time. No, that's that's too slow. Okay, let's just start over. Um Wanting to start getting those double pushes right away. Maybe something like this. What's happened here? Yeah, this last one is just so stuck in the middle of everything. No. No, no, I'm not liking that at all. What if... Definitely harder than the previous version. Free rope giveaway. Go north to claim the rope. Oh, that was convenient. How convenient. Though I'm more concerned about there being someone in this place. 
Might be a ghost or a skeleton, for all I know. Free ropes! Free ropes for everyone! I don't believe it. There's someone in here. Why are you still holed up in here anyway? I'm giving away free ropes to all who seek to leave this place. I know, but isn't this kind of a crummy gig? You're keeping yourself stuck in some abandoned house behind a blue door, giving away ropes until you drop down dead. We all die one day or another. Might as well give away ropes to stranded people while we wait. That's kind of morbid. I don't know, I thought it was kind of positive, actually. So, how much free rope do you want? Uh, let me see. 40 feet should be good. Alright. Uh, okay, there you go. See you. Bye. Have fun waiting out the rest of your days here. Now, was it ever canonically established what units of measurement were used in the 8th? Don't they have their own system? Like, it's not imperial or metric? I have a vague recollection that that is the case. Well, I uh, hit this and we can't actually get out, can we? So what is the point of this? Well, I'm now disarmed. Is this non-backtrackable? No, I can get through here. I guess this is just a... an alternate way of getting through here again. Okay. Oh, could I not do this from that side? I couldn't. Okay, I actually had to do it that way. Sure, that works. Alright, now that I have a rope, let's go find a rock on the upper level so I can get out of here. So the rock that was over here wasn't any good. Well, he is there. Looks stable enough. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, next up is Poxapon, and getting closer to, um, well, at least the cent central Dugandy word, um, which I guess actually Dugandy would be right here, wouldn't it? So, getting there. Uh, we'll check out Poxapon next time. I will see you then.